Multiracial Malaysia 1. Malaysia is a truly multiracial country. It is truly so because Malaysians retain their identification with their countries of origin. 2. Multiracial countries are almost never peaceful. More so if the races follow different religions, speak different languages and adhere to different cultures as in Malaysia. 3. But contrary to general expectations, Malaysia is relatively peaceful and stable. It is accordingly more prosperous than can be expected of countries which gained independence recently. 4. The reason for Malaysia's peace and prosperity is because the people believe in sharing, sharing political power and economic wealth. 5. Unfortunately there are in this country people who wish to end this sharing concept. They see a possibility of dominating not just economic wealth but political power as well. 6. They dangle this bait before the Chinese in the 2013 elections. And this resulted in wholesale desertion of Chinese voters from the BN coalition to basically the DEP. 7. Fortunately the majority of Malays adhered to the sharing concept espoused by the BN. And so, despite this desertion the BN won, but won with a much thinner majority. The fact that the contribution to this victory is largely by Malays and other indigenous people reflects a rejection of the concept of interracial sharing by non-Malays. 8. I think the parties in the BN should be reminded that this is a multiracial country and it can only remain peaceful and prosperous if they uphold this ideal of sharing between the races. 9. The Malays must remember that they cannot rule and prosper this country on their own. 10. They need the dynamism and business skills of the Chinese. They need also the professional skills of the Indians. 11. The Chinese and Indians must also realize that they need Malay support if they wish to form a government in Malaysia. And Malay support will not be forthcoming if the Chinese and Indians are not prepared to share and share fairly political power and economic wealth. 12. In multiracial Malaysia a strong government is a necessity. We cannot afford a minority government. 13. Having tried to stop sharing in the 2013 elections, those who deserted the BN should come back. They should return to the status quo ante. 14. Perhaps some adjustments should be made to the sharing formula. But there should be no threat, no holding others to ransom by any race. Any attempt to do so would kill the effort. 15. For more than 50 years the sharing formula brought development and prosperity to Malaysia. The whole world acknowledges this. The opposition will deny this of course but then the opposition needs to denounce all Malaysia's achievements since they wish to have one dominant race enjoying political power and economic wealth. If they acknowledge the success of Malaysia there would be no ground for their existence. 16. But all others agreed that among the countries which gained independence after the war, Malaysia is the most peaceful, stable and prosperous. Its rate of growth is among the highest in the world. Even when its trading partners in Europe and America face regression, Malaysia is still growing. 17. Only the insane can think that Malaysia should have the kind of upheavals, demonstrations and the like that we see in the countries of the Middle East and elsewhere. Maybe we are not perfect but that is no reason why we should discard something that had largely delivered on its promise. 18. Political parties do not like to lose. But in Malaysia when the government party lost, it had peacefully surrendered power. That this has not been seen at national level is the people's will. But at state level it has given up power in six states. I believe it will give up power at national level if the people so wish. 19. But the will of the people must be expressed through elections, not through demonstrations or other means. 20. But they say the BN government will cheat in elections. If it cheats it would not lose at state levels and it will not see opposition candidates win and take their places in parliament at national level. But it has never happened that the opposition fail to win at all as happened in countries in which the government cheats. We don't have the 99 percenter victories for the ruling party in Malaysia. 21-2014 will be a difficult year for Malaysia. We need stability in the country more than ever.
the racially based component parties in the BN should return to the sharing principle that had won them support for more than half a century. This will ensure stability. And with stability we can face all challenges and continue to grow the country. Thanks.